What's up, Doc? Dr. Craig Burns with LimitlessPractice.com. As always, so I don't get crazy comments, not gonna be a distracted driver. I'm paying attention to the road, unless I'm stopped at a traffic light, then I'll pay attention to the camera. But again, I got a good thought. I wanna get it out there and share it and hope that it inspires somebody, it helps somebody with their practice. Testing or resting? Yes, I coach a lot of doctors, a lot of chiropractors around the US, sometimes privately one-on-one, -on -one, and a lot in group format through Limitless Practice Elite on LimitlessPractice.com. My observation in a lot of my beloved brothers and sisters is that most of us are not testing. We've never been turned on to the concept of how important it is to test new ideas, new methodologies, and new strategies. We get very linear, very rigid, very stuck in our ways, very tunnel visioned. It's the way it's always been done, it's the way my chiropractor did it, whatever, that's, that's that way I'm going to do it, it's what I'm used to. We have got to flip flop that, flip the script, change it completely, and maybe just welcome the idea of testing everything, all kinds of things. Through testing, we might find better ways, better methodologies, better approaches that yield better outcomes and results. Okay, take the clinical stuff aside. Maybe you don't wanna mess so much with how you're going about things clinically. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about our business model and all of the many, many, many key impact points that influence how the business model creates and maintains success or different levels of success. Or maybe we're not in the testing mindset and we're in the resting mindset. We're just resting. We keep doing what we've always done, expecting bigger, better results, we're just resting on mediocrity or resting, maybe not so happily, but we're resting, we're in a resting state in our struggle or in our suffering or in our lack of having this or having that, achieving this or that. I don't know, I was just built a little bit differently. Maybe it was the way I was raised. I, I don't know how to explain it. I've just always been very pig headed, stubborn. I know what I want. I know I can get it. I just maybe, I'm not doing it right. Maybe I need to change what I'm doing, how I'm thinking, how I'm going about it. And if I do, maybe I'll get what I want. So over the course of my career, I, I think I've probably changed more methodologies and strategies when it comes to how I run the office, how I design the business. I'll give you some examples in a second. I've probably innovated and tested more times than anybody I've ever met, ever know, ever interviewed, ever consulted with or coached. And maybe, maybe almost to a fault, maybe I changed too much. I think back in the day, I might've changed too many things too fast, but I would rather do that than be stuck in a resting state of mediocrity or struggle. I've done that too, and that sucks. Um, hope, thank God I wasn't there too long. I just kept going back to my, let's try it differently. How else could I do it better? And I'll give you examples of, of my of personal experience, but also experiences, observations that I've seen in other doctors who are definitely stuck in the resting state, and they need to get unstuck and moved into the testing state so they can get better, have more success, do better in practice. Care plan design. Helping doctors figure out maybe if you made it a little longer or a little shorter. Maybe it's the price point. Maybe it's the way you structure payments. Um, maybe it's the way you present it, communicate it. Both the care plan, the nature of the care plan, the value, and or the, the way you present the finances. Okay take out day one, day two. This is a big one. Testing the way you present a continuance from phase one to phase two of care, from maybe restorative corrective care, initial phase of care, to ongoing phases of care. Hundreds of different ways to do it. I've done it dozens and dozens of different ways, many of which have slowly increased or get, netted me a better and better outcome. And the more I keep testing and innovating, not all my tests or innovations are success, but if one's a failure, I just try a different test, try a different methodology, a different strategy until I get more and more success. So getting obsessed, getting out of the resting phase and into the testing phase. Are you stuck in the resting phase? Do you have, do you have this innate ability to find what's the other way to try it? What's the other way to say it? What's the other way to present it? How can I do that? Some people are just naturally gifted and good at that. That's just how they're built. And some people aren't which is why you kind of need, well, this is gonna be one of those moments where the fire truck comes by. <laughs> um, maybe there's a colleague, a friend that you can consult with who, who you know is good at that. Or maybe you do need to hire a coach or a consultant that can provide you with a plethora of different options to choose from 
that you could test. Try it this way. Is that better than what you've been doing? Good, keep going in that direction. Nope, didn't work. Try it this way. Is that better? Good, go in that direction. Now, what else could you do to test and innovate and change how you do things in the office? Hundreds of different key impact points that cumulatively create your level of success that you have right now. If you're not, if you're resting and not testing, you probably can't. We can't expect anything better than what we're getting right now. Yes or yes. Therein lies the value behind Limitless Practice Elite. It's like a laboratory where we're constantly testing. It's different than any other type of coaching or online mentoring group because it's not one way or the highway. It's not like your way sucks, we'll do it my way because my way is the best. No, I say, well, maybe your, way's, maybe your way sucks. Maybe it's limited and flawed because of this, 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 and that. At least consider those options. Now, here's how you could reverse engineer a better outcome and a step-by-step -step methodology that's unique to you you could engineer it. You can choose what you want to do and how you're going to go into a testing phase for your care plan, for your re to wellness strategy, for your presentation of finances, for asking for referrals. Hundreds of different ways to ask for referrals and they're not all equal. And if you're not willing to test new ways to do it, you're probably only going to get the same results that you've always gotten. Hundreds of different ways to create a discount. I've seen testing how one special offer, a discount to have a family member come in you, I've offered it dozens and dozens of different ways. Sometimes just one tweak, one little test can yield like five times the results. Five times as many people say, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I definitely want that, I need that. How do I sign up, right? So many different ways to do that. I know this was a little long, but I think this is the mark of success for almost any captain in their industry. Any successful person in any industry is being willing to test new mindsets, strategies, and approaches, always trying to get more, right? Always trying to achieve more, get a better outcome. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's a lot of things wrong with being complacent and getting stuck in the resting phase. If you wanna get out of the resting phase and you wanna get into massive, rapid testing phase, to try to pull yourself to higher levels of success as fast as possible on as many key points or impact points in a chiropractic office as you want or are willing to do, go to LimitlessPractice.com. Activate a basic membership. Yeah, you will be extremely glad you did. If and only if you are willing to test and implement. Then you just get sit back and watch the better outcome, the better results. And yeah, the bigger income come in. LimitlessPractice.com. Adiós.